peeps it's your girl jazz welcome back to my channel if you haven't already go ahead and hit that subscribe button like this video and leave a comment below and if you want to know how i got this beautiful look please stay tuned it is a closure quick weave customized unit so pretty much i'm just showing you all that um i've already got started and i've already bleached my knots on this closure and not only that i took it down and i'm redoing it for you all <laughs> and i was like why didn't i film this so yeah i'm just redoing it and plus i wanted to add color as well so here we are um in this clip i'm just pretty much making sure my measurements are right and of course if you already know how to do a quick weave you can go ahead and buy past this part um so if you have if you don't know how to you know do a quick weave this is pretty much how you do it um i use a uh, free spray as well um so once i lay the um apply the glue on the track i you know spray a little free spray and i use the free spray because it it, it lasts longer and um also it just you know if when you want to shampoo it and everything it stay like it locks in you know even after i colored it and shampooed it and let it air dry and everything i hadn't i didn't have to glue any tracks back so yeah that's you know a little technique you all can use um of course before doing this you want to put down a processing cap a plastic bag a garbage bag anything of that nature so that your wig won't be glued to your head um other than that i'm just you know taking my tracks and i am making sure it's even on both sides and i'm just going across from you know temple to temple right now and as you can see it is even on both sides you also want to make sure that it's even on both sides only because you don't want one side to look fuller than the other you want everything to even out and this is pretty much how it looked so before i glue the crown of her hair i'm going to go ahead and remove the pins from the cap and i'm just going to go ahead and slide my cap back just so that when i'm gluing my tracks it's a flat surface and it's not lumpy or anything if you don't do that it will definitely be lumpy at its you know the crown of your head once you put it on so just always make sure to slide that cap back and you know start the process over and over again um so pretty much like i said i am just gluing these tracks down and as you can see it's pretty flat no lumps or anything and nothing is wrong with gluing your wigs um i find it very amusing especially if you're in a rush or anything it works out perfectly fine um i never have an issue with my track slipping or anything like that and you can use the quick 30 second glue it dries really fast and like i said if you use the free spray it is definitely very usable for extra quick dry and tacky um you know stick a tacky tacky or hold so that's pretty much what i'm doing here and um now i'm just gluing a crown of her head and i'm doing it straight instead of across and like i said i'm not doing it across um from temple to temple no more because if i do that it's just gonna be like to me it's gonna be lumpy and not as flat so this is you know definitely a main reason why i'm doing this um straight across and then I just brush it out to get all the little hairs out of my way to make sure, you know, it's just giving me a, you know, a clean um, install as I'm doing it. Okay, so once I get to the top, um, I don't, you know, necessarily glue the close. I mean, the tracks on top of the closure. Um, I just, you know, get it as much as close to the lace as possible, and that's pretty much about it. But I do go into the closure and add some fullness to it. So I just, you know, do a little part, clip it, and make sure I do it on both sides, and I just go ahead and glue it in there. So as you all can see, I added some color. And I let it air dry. That's why it looked like this it was air dry upside down. I promise the hair is really good. But yeah, I just added some highlights. I was like, let me give this a little, you know, taste or whatever. Um, black is kind of beginning to get boring. But yeah. 
So as you all can see, I am going to be using my reflector spray from Design Essential product line. And I don't spray a lot because it can, you know, weigh the hair down. And then I'm going to go in with my Design Essential silk. And um, a little goes a long way. So please do not do a whole lot. Um, this is a thick oil, so you don't need a lot. Um, and I'm just going to mostify and spread it all through her hair. And I'm saying her because my doll is a her, <laughs> so don't mind me. And now I'm just showing you all where it's uneven at and where I'm actually going to do my cut at. But before that, I want to make sure I get an accurate cut, so I'm just going to go ahead and flat iron um, the hair out. Um, doing this method, it just makes sure you have all the hair straight before you cut, because if not, it's not going to be even at all. And then you're just going to find yourself trying to get it right, get it right, get it right. And you're just going to be going shorter and shorter. So it's just best to press the hair out. Now, if you want a messy look and you don't want to ever straighten it, then that'll be cool. But this is how it looks. And y'all, them highlights is popping so much. I did so good on this color. And now I'm just going to go ahead and, um, with my wand curler. And I'm just going to press out the flat. The, you know, just make sure the hair is flat everywhere. Add a little heat to it. So that's another um, technique. Um, and as you can see, this is how look is all full with body. And I am just going to go in with my Empire Shears, shears and go ahead and start um, doing this cut. Now... Where I messed up at is where I didn't use the shorter guide to the left side, so I had to go back and cut it, which you all will see in the video. I don't know. I guess I was just so excited to cut it. I definitely did not pay attention to that. So, yes, you always want to go with your shorter guide when you're reusing hair. Now, if your hair is a virgin, then you definitely don't have to, you know, do that. You could just start pretty much where you want to start. But definitely go with the shortest guy <laughs> or you'll find yourself recutting just like I did. So, yeah, this is pretty much, um, you know, all I'm doing. I'm just taking a little bit of hair um, and just going along with my guy. <clears throat> And never go past your second knuckle simply because you can definitely cut yourself. And these shears are pretty sharp. So never go past your second knuckle. It does not feel good once you get nipped. I know every time I nip myself, um, yeah, I had an attitude every time. But I got it, though. I was in school. I'm just like, you know what? <laughs> Let me stop being hard-headed because, you know, when you go past that second knuckle, you pretty much just being lazy and don't want to, you know, start over or whatever. But anywho, to each his song, I'm pretty much, um, to get an accurate cut up under, I'm just going to go ahead and pull down the cap. And as you can see, once I pull it down and comb it down, the cut is uneven. So that's how you, um, you know, get an accurate cut. And then um, what you do is pull that, you know, push your head forward. And then you just begin to cut. And you all just, just, you know, it, it's, it's, you got to take it one day at a time. It's never going to be perfect. You just got to, you know, be careful and just go in and have faith because that's really the only way you're going to learn how to just get an accurate cut and just be patient with it um and as you can see i got my clippers i'm not using my scissors only because it's, it it just was it just never works to me when i'm trying to go under you know so i just get my clippers and it just you know as you can see it gives me the best cut and i i like the clippers i like the clippers when i'm going under so as you all can see, I am pretty much cleaning it up. And I'm not cutting the top. I'm just going under. If you cut the top, you, you're just going to get shorter and shorter. But I did go back in and cut the top as well. Because like I said, I, you know, my guide was off. So in the next clip, you will be able to see it was very uneven. Like so. And so I just took my clippers and I just, you know, aligned it with the other side. Like I said, always cut the shorter side. I mean, always go with, you know, start on the shorter side first. And that's pretty much what I'm doing until it was even all the way around. Now, I didn't have to 
continue to cut all the way around because what I was doing was making sure that, you know, I was cutting just enough off to get it even around to the other side. So I'm not making it shorter all the way around. I'm just evening it out to the other side of the of the doll head. And then I just pretty much take my shears and clip off whatever, you know, strings that are hanging out that the clippers didn't get. And there you go. I have a beautiful, beautiful bob blunt cut, you guys. I love this wig. Like, I don't want to sell it. Everybody been asking me how much. And I'm just like, yo, <laughs> I do not want to get rid of it. But we'll see. We'll see. Anywho, um, I go ahead and not flat iron it just to give it a finished look. And if you haven't already, go ahead and follow my Instagram page at Chocolate Creations Hair. And go ahead and book those appointments. So to give it a finished look, I'm going to go in with my Gossipy Glue Free Spray. Spray a little, not too much. And this is just to lay down the strands of the hair. And as you can see, she is ready to go, baby. I hope this video was very helpful. And your girl is slate, period, pool. Just on period. Look at how the hair flow, y'all. <laughs> so, yeah, if you like this video, go ahead, subscribe, like, Leave a comment below. Book your appointments at chocolatecreationshair.com. And thanks for tuning in. Bye.